Okay, so you're a Kemper owner, uh, HX Stomp owner, Helix owner, you've got some sort of modelling solution, a Strymon Iridium maybe, and you're looking at the Harley Benton GPA 100, because presumably you want a cheap way to do the same sort of thing as a Seymour Duncan power stage. This is going to be a short review of this, I guess. Um, you can see what it looks like, it seems fairly well built, I'd suggest, um, feels an okay weight and the knobs on it feel decent to use. I gigged with it twice over the weekend, so kind of two experiences. So on Friday I was using a Kemper and a Kemper cabinet and I was not going out to the front of the house, so it was just the on stage sound and I was competing with a very loud drummer as well as another guitarist and a bassist. In that situation I was quite often hitting this peak kind of thing and I was finding that I wanted to reduce bass a little bit because I think that's probably where you have kind of least headroom in the bass area. I'm going to assume that's the case because obviously bass amps generally you'd be uh, having way more than 100 watts. You have kind of 600 watt things and that sort of stuff to cope with the longer wavelengths and all that and the more energy of moving the speaker. So yeah, Friday it did seem to struggle a little bit to keep up with what was a particularly loud drummer. Saturday I was actually using in-ears as well, so basically this was like an on-stage sound to help with the feel of the thing, and for that I thought it was pretty much perfect. You know, you don't want loads and loads of stage volume in an in-ear situation necessarily, it's a, a little bit unnecessary. So for that I was kind of only running this sort of a third to half of the way up, whereas I was tickling this peak on the other gig. You'll probably want to look fairly carefully at the specs because I think it puts out kind of different wattages into different styles of cabinet. So although a 100 watt valve amp would be, you know, perfectly capable of handling that sort of gig, depending on what cabinet you're plugging into, I think keeping up with a very loud drummer or a full band might be difficult, like in the use that I was using it with a Kemper cabinet with just this. So that was my experience. open it up to look inside I can't see any obvious like ice power module type stuff so I guess this might be specifically made for Harley Benton I know some of the other stuff use the ice power modules I mean I think it looks okay in there though in general not that I know anything about electric so yeah anyway things we like about it nice and cheap nice and small and the EQ on the front of it I found quite usable on the gig I will say I think it'd be it's perfectly suited for home use, you're never going to need it to be loud enough for use at home. Um, but I would say that if you're only using your modeler and the cab on stage and you don't have any reinforcement out of the front of the house, I would say look elsewhere. Maybe look for the more high powered models of the Harley Benton GPA series, I think there's like 400 and possibly 200 as well. Because this may struggle with a, a bigger band or with a really loud drummer. Um, I think you might find it a little bit difficult to be heard above that sort of stuff or you'll be hitting that peak if you're trying to keep up with someone who's a really loud drummer anyway. That's just my experience with it. Let me know in the comments if you've had good or negative experiences with your GPA 100 or any Harley Benton kind of power amp stuff. There will be an affiliate link in the description if you want to try it. As I say, I bought this for use specifically with my Kemper to go between the Kemper and the power cabinet. Um, and, you know, fairly happy with it fairly um, but I think you kind of need some of that reinforcement outside the front of the house if you're going to be using that and Norma here's a dog and she appears to semi-approve so four sausages up so here I'm using my helix into it um, with the IR on at the moment <laughs> And I'm kind of struggling to believe how loud that drummer must have been, <laughs> given how loud this is in the room. But it's useful to have that EQ on there. I'm starting to peek it there. 
there anyway, so that's kind of our... So yeah, I think in most cases it should be loud enough to keep up. Um, I think maybe that Friday is just a, a very, very loud drummer. Um, and if you don't, you know, increase the bass too much on it, you should have a bit more headroom. That's just a... What I also like about having this EQ here, so I've turned off the cab now, and so I'll just play at this relatively low volume. <coughs> Okay, things are a bit spiky for me, so I'll just take down the treble. So you've got all of that. stuff that you might need. Hopefully that was vaguely interesting and useful if you're looking at that GPA 100. Um, I'll catch you in another video soon and yeah I think it's useful to have that EQ on there. Cheers!